All right, we're here with uh, Chaminade coach Eric Beauvaird and with Justin Bridges on the right, Austin Pope on the left. Uh, coach, uh, just a general statement first. Yeah, first off, can, you know, congratulations to Azus. I have a lot of respect for their program. They, uh, we've been through some battles with them over the past past six, seven years, and uh, I've always respected their, their program, how they do things, so give them a lot of credit. They, they just... They just beat us tonight, and uh, wish them luck as they move on. But um, game was a game of, of roller coaster ups and downs, you know, runs where we're we're making really good decisions and you know, and, and getting good stops, and then next thing you know, it goes the other direction, and then we're fighting our way out of the hole trying to get it back. So it's been kind of like this week, up and down roller coaster ride of emotions, and um, you know, it's only fitting that. The last game would end that way. How much do you think that that just affected the team? Just the how emotional this week was. I would imagine it would just be but, draining. Yeah, it was. It was definitely tough. You know, myself and our assistant coaches and a lot of people in the Shawnee community are close with Coach Bross, and he means a lot to us. So, you know, it it was a rough. You know, it was a very rough few days for sure. And. And um, it, it probably affected us some, without a doubt. But um, hey, there's bigger things in life. There's more important things. We're looking forward to getting back and helping him get through this tough time. Um, coach, was get and guys was getting on the floor a ch a chance to kind of for a few minutes take your mind off of what's been going on? Yeah, I um, think so. It, you know, it's it's always you know. A relief of stress and anxiety and, and, and so forth. I know the, the guys were looking forward to just getting out. You know, we, we took a few days off of practice. We couldn't really emotionally even practice. So we, we took a few days off and I know that they're, you know, they were anxious to get back. You know, even though we're, we're sad at the, about the situation, they were, they were anxious to be able to take their mind off of that for a little bit and, and focus back on basketball. But it probably had a little effect for sure. You'll have to excuse me. I mean, I'm, I'm, what happened? I'm not aware of. Or my assistant coach had a, his baby pass away oh, on Monday, cool. um, eight months old. Oh, and wow. Just kind of. I mean, we were meeting with players in the morning, and you know, next thing you know, he's he's the police call him, and I knew when the police called him that it wasn't good. Oh, they wow. said you better rush to the hospital real quick. Your baby stopped breathing. And so the police, you know, they usually don't call you if unless something was bad. So, um, yeah, that's an unfortunate situation for sure. I noticed that Austin didn't get a lot of touches in the first half. Was that by design? Because it looked like against their zone, their zone really wasn't doing a heck of a lot against him. Um, how would you explain that? Well, we we always try to get the ball to him as much as possible. A lot of a lot of the things I design are to try to get him the ball and make reads in, in, in situations. Ever since I moved him into the point guard spot last year, he was you know I count on him making good decisions, and I'm constantly and teams are always trying to take that away. So it's a constant battle of me putting things in and you know them taking away and me putting something else in, but. We, you know, we try to get him the ball as much as possible, and you know, we 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 did that for good stretches, but you know, probably could have even done it more. So I'll 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 look at things, and whenever I, if I ever get a six six point guard that can do the stuff he can do, um, hopefully I'll be more ready for it. There was a play very late in the first half. Nicholas Anderson made a steal. Um, Kel. Um, Kelliker. Kelliker, yeah, was about to make a layup. His shot gets blocked, and the same guy who blocks the shot makes a layup at the other end. How much of that was, was did you feel that was a momentum shift, any of you, uh, either emotionally or on the court? Well, there was a lot of plays in along those lines where if you, you know, I felt like we're making a run. We're we're really getting a position we want to be in. Like to their credit, they always seem to just make that light, that changing play that that swings the momentum right back the other direction. But uh, and guys like Salong, you know, he he has the ability. He's he's pretty special with his ability to block shots and his timing and everything like that. So he's 
very, very disruptive. You got a kind of game plan for him blocking shots, which you know, it was probably the first time in my Division II coaching career that I had to really game plan around, you know, a shot blocker. Usually it's a lot of other factors, so. Did any of you notice, even though you, this is the third time you've played a zoo specific in the last three, four weeks, did any of you notice anything that they were doing differently on the floor or did they approach the game with more intensity or anything of that nature? No, they didn't do anything differently. I mean, we, we scouted them, we watched numerous amount of film, you know. Uh, we, they just, like we said, we just were on a roller coaster ride. Um, when we played them a few days ago, that roller coaster, we were going, it was really good. You know, we were um, getting 50-50 balls, things of that nature, guys was hitting shots. Um, those things just didn't happen for us tonight. So, um, you know, like you said, just got to tip your hat to a good team and move forward. Coach, it was an 11-2 start for them out of the gate. Um, what did you say in that timeout to kind of rein things back in? Just, just to just slow down, just slow down, and, and just gather ourselves and really focus on, you know, what we're trying to do. We had some plays designed that we wanted to, to execute right off the bat, and we actually didn't even get to them. So I, first off, I want to make sure we got to them, and um, you know, but. I know our guys can make runs. I just didn't want it to get out of control at that time period. So they know if I just stop it and we just hit reset, that it's our turn to go on that run right yeah. now. So. And ultimately, you guys were able to take a one-point lead at 9.43 three to go um, before they ran, yeah. ran off another, I think it was 11 or 12 in a row, something yeah. like that. Yeah, just a, I mean, just unbelievable roller coaster, up and down and up and down, and, you know, it was... It was, you know, it was fun while you're going up, and it's not very fun when you're on the way down. But, uh, you know, I give them credit. They, they, they withstood, withstood, you know, the, our runs and, you know, and, and stayed focused and, you know, and made the plays they needed to make. This is for all three of you guys. Um, the third time seeing each other, especially in such a compressed period, have you... You pretty much have seen every adjustment you guys can throw at each other, right? And then it's just a matter of, hey, who wants the, the little things, the 50-50s, the um, making a, a, cl a clutch free throw here and there, a clutch three. Is, it, is that really I mean, today's all we're talking game, about? Today's game, I think it all came down to who wanted it more. Uh, like we went over, we had a tough week. But I mean, at the end of the day, when we step between those lines, I think we just have to be ready to play more than the other team. And tonight, I just think that they just outplayed us a little bit, but I mean the adjustments, we made a few adjustments, they also did, but it just essentially just came down to who wanted it more. Yeah, when the teams are that close, I think we're very, very close in talent and, and so forth, and you know, it comes down to just, we call them 50-50 balls, but they're balls in the air that anybody could get. Anybody can go get it. Who's going to go get it? And if you watch our game, the other night versus Azusa at our place, we got all of them. We were on a mission, you know, back against the wall. If we don't win, we're out. And, you know, our guys played an unbelievable game. And, you know, I know that their effort, on the other hand, during that game wasn't quite they, what they wanted. So I'm sure they went back, reviewed the situation, and watched us just beating them all over the course, court and, you know, and, and came out tonight with that game plan in mind. Well, thanks, Coach. Really Thank appreciate you. it. Have Thank a safe you. trip home. Thank you.